Good morning. I'm going to do my best not to get emotional, but I cannot make any promises. For those of you who do not know me, or may only know me by face, waiting for you at the bottom of the stairs after you've received your communion, my name is Adelaide Newman, and I'm here this morning to share my senior reflection. I'd like to start by sharing a couple of things about myself. I love to read. The beach is my absolute favorite place, and I'm going to Texas A&M University in the fall to major in early child education. I am also known for always having a smile on my face. In today's gospel, we read about Jesus returning to his disciples. He showed them his side, saying, peace be with you. The disciples rejoiced and were amazed. Thomas, one of the disciples, wasn't there to see the Lord for himself. The other 11 men delivered this exciting news to him, saying their savior had returned. But Thomas simply did not believe them and was full of doubt. And he would believe them until he saw Jesus himself. I don't know about many of you, but I know in my day-to-day -day life, I have found myself sitting and doubting God for the way he has chosen things to happen. High school has never been easy for me. People say high school was the best years of my life, or I would go back to high school tomorrow if I could. But I have been counting the days since my senior year started for high school to end. I became a varsity cheerleader my sophomore year of high school. I was excited, nervous, anxious, but most importantly, full of hope. I couldn't wait for the football games, the crowd, and the friendships. However, it turned out to be exactly what I didn't expect. Girls were unkind, drama surrounded me, and for the first time, I felt like I didn't fit in. As the season finished off and trials for the next year rolled around, I decided to remain full of hope. I prayed to God that he would give me the signs that I was making the correct decision for myself. Unlike I had hoped for, junior year was simply the same, and maybe even worse. While I had a friend group, the girls I was friends with surrounded me with bad decisions, negative energy, and more drama. Senior year rolled around, and I once again continued with what I've been a part of, and I even tried out for a higher position. You may all be thinking, Addie, the first two years weren't great, why continue to put yourself in this position? And the answer to that is simply that I desperately wanted it to be different. I ended up being co-captain of my team and I was excited for what was in store. However, this year proved to be the most difficult of all. It felt like God had answered my prayers until he hadn't. Please understand, not every cheerleader on my squad was mean, but the very few bright spots just weren't enough to outshine the negative. It had become clear to me that the environment I had found myself in was an unhealthy one. Like Thomas, I was full of doubt. I was confused. I had prayed for a happy ending that I didn't get, and I had completely lost hope. My smile began to fade. I found I was only finding happiness in God at faith and can't, sorry, I found I was only finding happiness and faith in God at happening, camp capers, or even here at church with all of you. I wanted to feel what I felt from those places in my everyday life. This takes me back to the verse in the gospel where Jesus says, peace be with you. I began to realize the people I, the people we surround ourselves with can be hurtful, but the right people can create beautiful things. I've learned our faith can move mountains and our doubts can create them. I wanted him to change the circumstances when the solution just wasn't the answer that I wanted. This year, I quit cheer and started to surround myself with the things that make me happy. For example, spending time with my best friend, Lily, who loves me for who I am, encourages me to follow my dreams and makes life seem so very easy. The guy who knows when to get my favorite flowers from my favorite florist, my brother who plays the songs I love most on his guitar and stays up for late night talks with me, my parents who have never stopped believing in me and walk with me through every single hardship my cousins and grandparents who continue to bring me joy every day. This list could go on for forever. As Christians, I've learned the difficulty of not losing faith and doubting God. As much as I wish I had the answers for myself and everyone here today, I simply don't. The reality is that I am just another teenager trying to figure life out. I still have days where I feel like a train wreck, but I encourage each and every one of you to not be afraid of your doubts and rather face them. I have learned that if I lean on God, trust in God, and have faith in God, 
he can move my mountains and even bring my smile back. And that is all the proof that I will ever need. Thank you.